Power Hand Workout 18 and Shut Up and Sweat series. And first we're going to start with some technique practice of the windmills. So when we do the windmill, it's not a fast movement, it's very slow. Hand position is key. Okay, so we're going to have either the open palm where the bell is still diagonal down, or a false grip where the bell's handle is between, or your fingers are between the bell handle. Okay, so we're going to start up, looking up at the bell. This hand runs down your leg with your feet pointed the opposite direction of the belt. Both knees stay locked. Go as low as you can go, depending on your flexibility. Now, if your flexibility is not as good and your knee starts bending, that's as far as you go. So keep those knees locked. Go depending on how low that feels. You're going to be primarily working the hamstrings, glutes, low back, obliques, shoulder. So don't go fast, especially with this overhead. Okay? Get a comfortable belt. When you switch sides, bring it down to the shoulder. And switch safely, switch it out. Both feet again pointed the opposite way. So my left hand's holding it, my feet are pointing left, right. Drop down, always looking up. This hand will feel stability on the leg, okay? So that's the windmill. That's going to be done for five sets, five times each arm. Okay, and there's no clock, no time limit. You go at your pace. Damien, jump in. Go ahead and show for the theory. Long cycle. A long cycle? Again, we're going to clean, and if you know the jerk, if you do the jerk, if you push press, we're going to clean it. And for the push press, it's uh, straight up, hold, lock, lock out your arm, and back down, and then we're going to re-clean again. For the jerk.